Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's had a great day. Who am I kidding? It's been a shitty day. I ain't going to lie. I'm, I'm, I'm just disgusted about how bad we looked yesterday and things. And so I'm getting ready for Monday Night Football, and I know I'm going to get trolled to hell that this is going to be a rough week because I'm about to do the walk of shame on the Dan Salio show and everything else. So it is what it is. You know, I'm going to take my medicine like like a man. I'm going to take my medicine like a man and keep on getting. You know, I, I took it like a man when they stuck the needle in my arm here to drain my bursitis and i'm gonna take it like a man tonight but uh i've I've been waiting all day to see how micah parsons was going to react to what happened because i'll be honest with you I, i don't feel like there's any passion with the players anymore that this is really it is just a job and you know after the game they didn't leave it at work Let's listen to what he has with the the enemy here. You know, I can't oh, talk yeah, about home yeah, for I, y'all. You know, I can't say a lot about y'all. y'all three? Yeah, we all in three at home, which is crazy. Ooh, and y'all really a good solid home team, but to see y'all all in three, I'm loving it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we there was I'm booze. There was booze. Like there was true booze from the crowd, uh, from the fans. You know everything. Like you know. You know, it's right now. I think for our, I'm gonna call it TNT <clears throat> trial and error. You know, it's like it's like yeah. a boom right now. Like everyone's just mind blown. Um, you mm-hmm. know, a lot of trial and error right now. Uh, you know, how you know how it is, bro? Because you've been in uh, losing programs, been you've been in winning programs. You know, it's just gonna take for everyone to just say, "Hey, we know what we're doing. Why don't we just do the right stuff?" You know, me on the right. sideline. You know, it'd be, it be funny because, like, you know, in the game, you like, man, I don't know what's really going on. Like, I got to wait till Monday to get the film. Why is this hitting? And then, you huh. know, kind of be on the outside looking in. I'm like, man, like, this is very simple stuff we we giving up right now. And Same you know, thing we had an issue with. Yeah, I, I mean, bro, I mean, it, it, it's compli- It's very simple, but it's very complicated because we can overcomplicate the simple things. True. True. I can, you know, one thing we always preach is, man, make the simple thing, uh, like easy. You know what I'm saying? Make it, make it to like, make it your best. You know, because once the simple stuff take care of everything. You know, everything extraordinary, your time to go take care of. But make the simple things just normal. Just make your layups. And some people don't know how to make a layup, man. I'm gonna do one more of these. You know. Now, so at the end of the game, Sirianni was going crazy at the fans. What was that about? Yeah. What was the emotions of that? Like, you know, because I understand, I mean, bro. I mean, yeah, I mean, coaches got back in the win column, man. You know, so we trying to just – he just excited, man. You know, he just happy to get back in the win column because I know, uh, you know, we get booze just like everybody else get booze at mm-hmm. stadium. So, you know, and – um. Shoot, Nick, Nick did the best way he could. He just, you know, he liked to show his personality a little bit. You know, I, I saw that he, you know, apologized to the fans, which he should, because, you know, mm-hmm. these fans love him to death. Man, we do appreciate him as a coach. But, yeah, man, the most getting the ball. I just want people to know that we are human. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We're human. And that's what makes it difficult out here. We know we want, wish we could be superheroes, but we ain't. We are human, though. I know, bro. I, bro, we be trying to be super human too often. And that could be our, you know, mm-hmm. our greatest mistake because we believe, especially you, you know what I'm saying, a lot of success in this yeah. league, but even myself, we believe we can make every play. And people don't get that. They be like, no, you got to right. win your play. I yeah. say every play is my play. I can make every play. Like, I, I believe I'm better than the man in front of me right now. Like, he can't stop me every from time. doing what I'm doing right now. Like, that, and that's just me. That's my mindset, bro. And, you know, it, and it be like that, bro. Um. Yeah. It's bigger than what most people think. You know, the absolute it is, level. I'm trying to tell you. I I believe because <coughs> I think not. 
I'm, you know, <coughs> since I've been in Dallas. We, I think we played Detroit three times. Um, mm -hmm. We beat them, you know, two years in a row. Uh, and then, obviously, they came back. And then, obviously, people want to say they, we cheated them last year. And honestly, bro, like, what my injury was like, bro, I think it hurt me more. So, I think in my period of time, I've never been injured. And, you know, I thank God that, you know, it's not too serious. Yeah. Um, but in my in my life, like, the two biggest games that I wanted to play, I could not play in. Like, if I had to mark, you know, two games of my year of, like, who I would wanted to play, one is, like, Pittsburgh. Obviously, besides Philly because yeah. – it's PA, like that's home for me. Everybody from oh, fake, my yeah. hometown was coming up to Pittsburgh. Um, you know, I look up, looked up the Tomlin. Obviously, you know, you got TJ mm -hmm. over there, Minka, and you know, they known for great defense and all those things. And obviously the next one is Detroit. I knew Detroit was coming back to Dallas and it was gonna be an all-out warfare. Oh. And those are the games you look forward to. Like I know when Eagles gonna play Cowboys, that's like the biggest rivalry. Like Slade, they don't understand pregame. I ain't nobody worried about Slay right now. Like we, I'm like, yeah, like CD, you better bro. f Slay up, bro. On God, like ain't oh, no, come on, locked ain't, in. ain't, locked ain't in. no mercy for him, bro. <laughs> he ain't getting like people don't understand. Like right now, we could be cool because we still, hey, you right know, what I'm saying you, you got some weeks out, we, so we get it, bro. So we get it online. It's over with. Yeah, ain't so no we more. Put them line. How is it that we the fans, we the fans take this so much harder than the players do? I don't know how the heck Micah can be on air <clears throat> smiling and laughing and joking and, you know, yucking it up with Slay. After literally what just happened to us. We need to take care of home ourselves. We need to take care of home ourselves. This is where we got to look in the mirror and say what the hell's going on. But we got to look right here and say this is what Jerry Jones has built. Um, Stephen Jones has gone on to say that nope. Didn't have, that that there's no thought of changing the coach, and there really shouldn't be because you can't put it all on the coach. If it was just the coach was the problem, um, then I'd say yeah. In the same way, you know, everybody says, "Well, Dak is the problem." Dak is not the only problem. You got so many that you you we've done the same thing over and over and over and over again. You can't put this on the coach, the quarterback, and, and the players that you have on the field. you got to look at the guy who built this team, him and his son. They don't know shit. Mm. Mm -mm. Well, it's almost time for Monday Night Football's so Walk of Shame. I'll see you all there. Peace.